Have you been making research on the internet on how to install Intel IJ on your Android device? You are in the right place. In this tutorial, I will walk you through the process of installing Intel IJ IDEA with support for both 64-bit and 32-bit systems. With Intel IJ IDEA on your Android, you can unlock the potential of coding on the go, no matter if you are a student, developer, or coding enthusiast. Having Intel IJ IDEA on your Android opens a world of possibilities. Imagine the convenience of writing, debugging, and testing your code right from your mobile device without being tied to your desktop. In this step-by-step -step guide, I'll cover everything you need to know to get started. From downloading the necessary files to configuring the settings for optimal performance. Get ready to code on the move and take your projects to new heights with Intel IJ IDEA on your Android device. Let's dive in and make coding more accessible and flexible than ever before. Welcome back. In the previous video I made, I made a video on how to install Ubuntu with the Puji desktop on your Android device. I suggest you watch that video because I am going to be using the Buji desktop to install this Intel IJ on my Android phone. For those that haven't watched that video, it is showing at the top right of your screen right now. Make sure you click that and you know go and watch the video. Then when you're done watching the video, you can come back and continue installing Intel IJ. So connect to your VNC server using the method I showed in that video. And then after connecting, we're going to proceed to the installation of Intel IJ. Okay? So head over to NetHunterKex, enter your details as I showed in that video, then click on connect. Okay, now that we're connected, we're going to launch our terminal. To launch your terminal, right click on your screen and click on open terminal. Now that your terminal is open, the first thing you're going to do, of course, is you're going to update your repository. Update your repository with the apt update command. Then install this necessary packages. I'm going to leave the packages in the description below. Make sure you install them, which is the JDK package, which is the Java package, and other packages that are necessary for the installation of Intel IJ. Another package to install is the xdgutils package. Install that package with the command apt install xdgutils. Now, after installing that package, it is important to remember that Intel IJ doesn't support 32 bit CPUs anymore. But however, we can install their older versions which supports the 32-bit CPU and use it. So I'm going to be pasting the link to these versions in the description below, okay? So now, to simply download the Intel IJ Linux package, you're going to be using the wget command. Then you're going to paste the link to the package after it, okay? So wget, then you're going to paste the link. And then you're going to click on enter. And the installation should begin. Now, once you're done downloading Intel IJ, you're going to see a tab of file. So um, let me clear the screen now and type list. As you can see, there is a tab of file here. What we're going to do now is we're going to extract that file. Now, to extract the file, you're going to use the command tab-xvf-xvf. -xvf. Then you're going to paste the name of the file, okay? Then you're going to click on enter and that should begin the extraction of the file. Now, after extracting the file, if you type list again, you're going to see a new folder, which is the, you know, the new folder just created inside this folder. That is where all the Intel ID files are being saved. So you're going to change your directory to that folder using the CD command. Then you're going to navigate to the bin directory of that folder. So CD bin. And now that you're in the bin directory, you're going to see a file named idea.sh that is the file we want to you know launch you're going to type the command dot forward slash idea.sh on your terminal and you're going to click on enter and that command is going to launch intel ij as you can see we are now in the installation script of intel ij so um let me minimize the terminal now as you can see we are in the privacy policy stage where it says you should you know agree to the privacy and policy agree to that and click on continue data sharing send anonymous message you know you know what to do here so this is the setup just you know <clears throat> do the setup according to you know the way you want it and skip all of this i know most of you knows how to do this already so um create a launch script 
what we're going to do is we're basically just going to click on next in most of these parts so um, i'm just going to skip all of this um as you can see there are some plugins here you can choose to download them if you want to whenever you need them now we are in to create a new project window create a new project and you know download um a recent version of you know java which is the open jdk version 20 as at the time i'm making this video so just download the latest version of java you can download whenever it is that you're you know going through this process so when you're done with that you're going to click on next and on this page there is nothing much to do just click on next and then you're going to name your title you're going to name your project so i'm going to name this project hello world then you're going to click on finish and now we are in the intel ij window we have it on our android device isn't this awesome imagine coding right from your android phone so i'm just going to try to code from here now so right click on the src file and create a new um, a new java class okay create a new java class and name the java class so i'm going to name this java class hello hello then i'm just going to write a you know just a random java project okay so um i'm going to fasten all of this i'm going to fast forward all of this and when you're done you're just going to click on run you're going to run hello and you're going to wait for the results to pop up so this is how you install intel id on your android device and it is mostly important to know that after every time you work i do emphasize on this in all of my videos always make sure you kill the vnc server to kill the vnc server use the vnc server dash kill ratio one command okay so this is basically how you install and use intel ij on your android device and start your coding career with it so if you found this video helpful hit the subscribe button and turn on your bell notification so that you'll be notified when i upload a new video and if you have any error or you have any question regarding this video or any other video that i have made before reach out to me in the comment section and i'll reply you as soon as i can thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one goodbye for now